Hi, I'm Don Laurenti with Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure, and today I'm going to be talking to you about FOW, the Fiber Optic Works module, which is an add-on to G Technology. So before I get into what exactly is Fiber Optic Works, let's talk about how they used to model fiber in traditional G Technology before Fiber Optic Works came around. So if I have a uh, fiber here, and I'm just going to select this one, I've got information on the cable. I can tell that it's a 48 fiber cable and it's got 12 fibers in each bundle, but I really don't know anything about what's connected uh, at either end of that cable. So I've got sheath level connectivity, I've got no idea about the individual strand connectivity. To do that, you would go out to an Excel spreadsheet or an AutoCAD file that listed all these things. And then if you think about that and you extend it to, okay, I want to get from point A to point B, and there's 12 splices in between, that means I'm looking at 12 spreadsheets. So having that splice information external to the application really wasn't very uh, effective. So what we did is we've actually, with Fiber Optic Works, we pulled all that intelligent connectivity into the application. And if I go over to an area where we've got some modern fiber, here now, um, my fiber cable is actually intelligent. So I've got my loops on it. I can tell um, the length of cable that's in the loop, either coiled on a, uh, on a pole or in the bottom of a manhole. But most importantly, when I select my splice and I bring up the information about the splice, I have all that information that would traditionally be in an Excel spreadsheet. I have it available to me in the Fiber Optic Works module. So here I can see my, my cables. If I want to see what this, uh, this first fiber is connected to, I can just ask the system to bring that up, and I can see it's connected to the first fiber over here. If I was going to disconnect that whole tube, I could just select it and hit the disconnect button, and you'll see that the glyph has changed on the first tube. To, to hook it back up, it's just a drag and a drop. So that very intuitive drag and drop, maintaining those connections, sure beats editing a spreadsheet. Um, we also have the ability to dump this out though, because the guys in the field, when they're actually doing the splicing, they want to see something like this, which is a list of my to, my from, as well as my usage, so I can see what that, that uh, fiber is actually being used for in the field. In addition to that fiber to fiber connectivity, we also have the ability to model the actual inside plant, the racks and the cards and the shells. So I'll select this particular interface, and I'll bring that up. And now instead of having two, two fiber cables here, I've got fiber cable and equipment. And I can bring across another piece of equipment. And of course, what's o rendered over here is the exact uh, configurations, the in ports, the out ports, the front, the back. If I wanted to see what that rack actually looked like, I could select the rack, and bring up a 3D elevation of it, and I can zoom in on that. Same cut and paste applies to the rack editor. I can grab a card, I can bring it in and attach it. Just drop it in a slot. So all again, all of this information was traditionally managed outside. It was very unmanageable. Those spreadsheets were huge, especially for the racks. Uh, typically with a rack, you would get in the car and just drive to see if there's available space or what was connected to what, what was patched to what, what was jumpered to what. So the Fiber Optic Works module really takes all that intelligence, brings it into the application, makes it manageable for the utility. Thank you.